and what God begins to restore, what God begins to do in healing is going to begin to take place in you. Directions, frustrations, you'll see God moving and, and giving you guidance of what you need to do. February is going to be a spiritual month, a great time and a supernatural time for what he's going to do in your life. I just, I, I just worship the Lord. I thank him for what he's doing. I hear that in your spirit. But Father, I want you to begin to bring clarity, healing, things that you're using her in to touch some people's lives and bring word of God to. Working in the ministry, working in the church, needing to know what is the next step that you have for her. I don't know why they took the church. I know the building was rotten that they sent me to. But my elder told me just hang out in the wilderness until we change bishops. And so... Who, what, what organization are you with? African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church. That's what, and that's why I'm saying. And, and so you're, you're, you, you were pastoring for 12 years. You're, out of, you, 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 you're without a church right now? Six pastors, they said they had to take the buildings because it was no good. And they didn't even hear our congregation. We asked to stay together. And when the committee, when they spoke for me, they told the brother, be quiet. So I tried to speak for the church. We're Methodists, so we're only appointed for one year at a time. Mm -hmm. When we come to the conference in June, we're not allowed to say anything. We become the steward, and the bishop becomes the pastor of all the churches. So I stood up to try to say that, my, that the membership, could we please hold it together? And um, they just didn't hear me. And I think that's why... And that's why I was telling you, I said you needed to know directions mm -hmm. concerning your ministry. And you, you spoke, I said, well, I don't know. That's why I'm telling you, God's going to give you some directions. That's why I'm telling you. That's why I said, let me find out. Let me stop this for a moment, see where we're at. God's going to give you some directions. He's going to heal the wounds. I'm going to tell you something else. You need to stay uh, with uh, us until this, this poem... Revival is over. <laughs> you need to make as many nights as you can because when this is over, you're going to not only have your clarity and directions and doors opening, you may have to make some moves you never thought you were going to make. Well, after I got my letter, I wanted to come the same day and I tried to make it. I saw I couldn't make it, so I went on to work. And as I was leaving the work, a song that's got in my spirit said, can't you just wait on the Lord, can't you? And I said, why am I singing this song? Can't you just wait on the Lord? Can't you just wait on the Lord? So I slowed down. I said, okay, Lord, you'll give me a time where I can go. So I wanted to come. I forget what day that was. And the Lord said, not today. So I was telling Mom, I said, tomorrow I got to get here no matter what, you know. But the song kept saying, can't you just wait on the Lord? In other words, I read the letter. It was a confirmation. And that was a confirmation. The letter was a confirmation. What and my calls you to get out here. And it was a confirmation of what God's been telling me. Your mother's been telling like, you some things? Yeah, she's been telling me the same thing that the tape told me. You know, that mm. all the chaos that I've been going through and whatnot, if I would just hold on and I would just wait, all that clutter and that what was, what was taken from me would be restored and the financial problems would be restored. My God. But almost by the same thing I'm already telling you. Yeah, no, both sure. And it's a confirmation. The letter brought confirmation. Uh, we speak into your life. Jesus! That you already said that you would make things clear, yeah. give directions, and you to stick with this meeting as many nights as you can in this poem revival. Prophetic order of Mar Elijah. Bless you. Amen. You have your seat. Your seat for the oil. Come and get, bring it now. And I'll Amen. Give you the soil. I have the oil. Yes. Yes, do it you now. Do it, do it now. now. I, for some reason, I asked you, could I Bishop use the oil? Foster, and she... Come. I want to hug you. God bless you. Now, he's Great one man of the of sweetest God preachers. The he is. He's one of the sweetest preachers I know. Bless you. 
Hey, man, I know you. Bless you. How are you and your wife doing? Wonderful. Glad to have you here. I just feel, you know, I, 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 when I touched you, I didn't mean no harm. I, 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 I touched another building. I, I, I touched uh, some more property. All of them. And uh, I touched expansion and extension when I touched you. And um, I see another door of opportunity that's going to open, that's going to have you going into doing business and helping folk in business. You will be hard working, but they're going to be doing some things. Amen. Oh, that's right. I'm talking into that. <laughs> it's all right, prophet. Amen. I'm going to ask Mark, Brother Marcus to please play for us, please, softly. Go ahead. Amen. So, uh, and I'm, I'm going to tell you something else. The Lord says that not only in the church are there some favorable things that's going to begin to happen and upgrade, but even in your all's life, as being together, there's going to be some upgrades. There's going to be some trips. There's going to be some more joy. There's going to be some things. I'm just talking because I see all the clothes. I, 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 I see the shoes. I, 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 I see the stones and, and et cetera. But I, I'm seeing, I won't say a lot of stuff, you know, but I just see God saying this is going to be this year because you've been asking him around December, the last day of December, but somewhere around the 7th of January, you have been asking God to show up, to show you some things, to put you in position, to make some changes, or you're going to make changes in doing some things, you know, a different way. And uh, I'm talking like I'm cuckoo, but I'm just talking. But God says, I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to take that weight off of your shoulder. And I'm, I'm going to give you increase. I see some other real estate that has nothing to do with church growth as per se. But it's going to be some real estate. It's going to be some other properties. And um, for some reason, I'm also hearing some words that deal with grants. And uh, believe it or not, if you don't... Well, I want to say you almost... Uh, it's like there's a grant writer that's coming, you know, around the church. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yes, amen. Huh? Today we decided a grant doing uh, health um, seminars, and mm -hmm. they're already giving us a grant per month. Amen. <sighs> today. You know, it's the you word of the Lord. Right, right, right. You made me nervous there for a moment. Well, today I, was the I first day of the seminar. The day was the first day. I slept there about 5.30. My God. <laughs> And you know what? And you just got here. You yes, just walked in. And I, look, I would have never seen you at the back where you were. Yes. But when you came up close, I said, and I'm talking, I said, that, that's Bishop Foster. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, but you're going to see a lot of things begin to happen and expansion of things. Yes. You're getting ready to empower three people around you. And the word of the Lord was saying today, get ready because the housing situation is opening up as well. The Lord says real estate is going to be favorable for you this year. Some things that you've been wanting to do. I see some upgrading. I see your whole lifestyle upgrading. And the Lord says that where you've even walked in the church has seemed to move slow because it hasn't been able to quite catch up with the vision that you're seeing. But God says, I'm going to give you a new people because you're preaching a new message for this year, 2005, into the year of 2006. The Lord says unto thee that I'm getting ready to strengthen the men of your house. They're going to become able men that are going to get ready to support you, that's going to begin to help finance the vision, and is going to move that ministry into the next level. I concur with the prophet about the land situation because there's yet another building that God's going to add unto thee. And not only is it going to be um, just a church building, but it's another resource center, something that you're going to begin to do. The Lord also says to tell you that, um, now, Lord, I don't know where this is coming from, but God, you have to back your prophet up, Lord. God says you're going to do something in the community with some sports and different things like that with young people. That's going to be an extension of the work that you already have going on. That's going to be a ministry. You're going to end up doing something.